here with the most controversial <laughs> man in boxing. <laughs> Manager Marty, what's, what's good, you? Double Up? Oh, man, you know, they, they got me all over the place, man. You know, ring announcing. You know, when you see me in the bow tie, you know, I'm, I'm definitely ring announcing. You know, just got my check. Wait, wait, I feel great. I thought you was with the nation for a second. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, look. I need that protection. You know what I mean? <laughs> what did he just say on the song? Sometimes you got to pop out and show. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, I don't need no protection. I'm good. What's good with you? I'm good. What's up? Oh, I'm chilling, man. Slow motion, man. Oh, yeah. Marty, news broke. This is a topic that you've been covering really heavy. News broke yesterday. Brian Garcia suspended. One year. Uh, 1.1 million goes back to Golden Boy Promotions, $10,000 fine, and uh, Devin Haney gets his O back. What's your thoughts? Well, I mean, of course, if, if Ryan Garcia was going to get suspended, then Devin Haney should get his O back. I mean, let's be clear. We knew that Ryan Garcia was going to be suspended. We just didn't know how long, according to how protocol and boxing work, when you have a situation like this. Um, when you look at when you look at what happened with, um, when you when you look at what happened with this whole situation, Ryan Garcia walked around like he wasn't cheating. To me, and this is me. Now I know I'm gonna bring some heat on myself for saying this part. I look, I like to look at the whole picture. So for me, I didn't see where his performance looked enhanced to me. I'm not saying that um, it didn't have any bearing on his performance. I don't know, but from what I saw, but even in even in this case, he tested positive for a bad substance. What I don't know, and I was sharing this with you off camera, I don't know if intent was proven, whether he intended to actually cheat or not. But if he is, like I always like I always say, I'll be the first one to say that Ryan Garcia cheated. If intent can be proven that he actually did this to cheat, and I'm standing by that. If he didn't intend to cheat, what can I say? But if he did, he needs to be held accountable. Not just by me, by everybody. So what I think, I'm going to give you my assessment. I think that Ryan Garcia was having trouble making weight. Everybody knew that part. But I also believe, and I said this publicly on my channel, I also believe that Ryan Garcia does not have faith in the snack program when it comes to Devin Haney. He said it out of his own mouth months before this happened. And I believe he was trying to enhance his performance. Once again, I don't... I, I, I haven't seen proof that he intended to cheat or not, so I can't speak on that. But I do know he tried to enhance his performance. Wasn't Ryan Garcia a part of the snack program at one time? Or at least according, about according to what I've he seen, said. Yeah, I've seen him with, you know, snack shirts as yeah. well. According to what he said, he said he was only there to get sponsorship money from uh, the snack program. Okay. I, don't know if, I don't know if he was with the program like more than one fight. I don't know, but the way what he said... And we saw him with the shirts. We saw him with the snack shirts. What he said was he did it for a check. Okay. Um, but I don't know if he was with the actual program or not. But even if he was, that's going to prove my point even more because that means that he knows that, you know, the snack program works. So I believe that he felt like he was at a disadvantage of fighting Devin Haney. I'm, I'm just saying because that's what he said. But needless to say, he tested positive for a banned substance. Um, traces of Osterine, um, he should have served a suspension. I mean, we knew this was coming down the pike. We knew this. We just didn't know how long. And it's a year. What I don't understand is why do Golden Boy got to get I don't, some money? I don't know. I don't. I never heard that before. So I don't know why his promoter got to get paid. Um, if anything, they should have just cut a check to Devin Haney if they going, you know, if they going make him pay something. But I've never seen that ha happen in boxing either. But I would rather for the fighter to have gotten paid something. If they're going to say, well, look, you got to pay us, the commission, but then you got to pay your opponent. I guess that's fair, but to pay the promoter, I, I don't understand where that came from. But 
I think at this point, um, he needs to fall back. Everybody in boxing that's cheating needs to fall back. But as we all know, most fighters get their performances enhanced. We just don't know if it's legal or illegal. But I believe that Ryan Garcia was confident that the snack program worked and he was trying to do things to make it an even playing field. I'm not making no excuses for it. Once again, I don't, I can't prove his intent or whether he was like little Jillamy trying to cheat because I didn't see if it, I didn't see perform, I didn't see his his performance enhanced. I didn't. I didn't see his um, physique. I didn't see no extra power in the left hook. He looked the same to me. In fact, he was he had stamina issues. Going in the, this is a bad game. boy right here. I'm telling you, he's going to be my protege. He's going to be a bad, bad boy. Y'all better get your hold on manager Marty right the fuck now. Get a hold on him. And that's from the promoter. Just cut me a check. See, <laughs> listen. Listen, I'm not doing nothing for free. I'm here to get the money. I'm, listen, at least I'm being honest about it. Really? I, but I'm here for the love, though. Don't, don't let me talk too crazy. I'm here because I love the sport of boxing. But I'm going to transcend. Manager, podcaster, ring announcer. You might see me next week being the inspector. You just never know. Wherever the check is, where I can get it now. See, I've been waiting all these years to get paid right up front. But it's never going to happen in boxing. As long as you're a manager, you got to get the percentage of the purse. I need the money up front now. I got expenses. That's all I'm saying. Marty.